Hello everybody, I'm back again. It's been a little while, about a, I think it's been almost a month now since I've had a video, but you know, stuff happens, life happens, and just get busy. But uh, anyway, I'm back for another video, and uh, you know, you know the drill by now. Uh, more pickups of uh, new stuff, new game, a new game, just one, uh, and a couple, couple shows, and also going to... Uh, currently playing and uh, reading and all that fun stuff so um, yeah here we go um, first one I got is a Wii game uh, it's actually a, uh, an R a JRPG um, which uh, I had a lot of fun with the first one that was on GameCube and uh, this one I hope will be the same I'm pretty sure it's um, from reviews I've heard and stuff it's not as good as the, the first one but uh, well, not the first one, but the the one on the, the one that was on the GameCube. Um, but uh, I'm sure it's still a lot of fun, and it still somewhat continues the story, and yet has a new story. Um, I haven't played it yet, so just recently got it. It was actually the package I was waiting for the previous time, and so I figured I'll show you now. So that is Tales of Symphonia: Dawn of the New World. And like I said, this is an RPG and uh, from Namco Bandai, or Bandai Namco, however you want to say it. But um, I had a lot of fun with the first game. Um, it, if it's like the first game at all, it'll be a lot of fun. So you just go through. At least the first game was about world regeneration. I'm not sure on how what this one's even really truly about. Um, but yeah, I like it. I like the series. I like the Tales games in general, so I'll have a lot of fun when I get to that one. Do, 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 do. And I just had the one game. Um, so next is this is actually a DC Universe movie. Um, it's the newest one that just came out. Um, I've liked pretty much all the other ones that have come out so far um, for the most part I mean there's few that are just alright but I like most of them <laughs> um, but the newest one is Justice League Doom so I have not had a chance to watch it yet I just got it got the blu-ray DVD combo pack um, and ultraviolet digital copy which I don't ever I don't know about anybody else but I never pretty much use the digital copies of anything <laughs> um, because usually if I I'm, if I want to watch something, I'm like sitting down at home watching something. I don't usually <clears throat> go out and put it on my computer or anything like that usually. But um, anyway, uh, yeah, I've liked all the other uh, DC Universe movies. Um, uh, hopefully this one will be a good one. Um, I don't know too much about it either. I pretty much just get them now because I trust that they're going to be good. Um, but this one obviously has to do with the Justice League and whatnot, so should be a good time, good, good uh, fights and stuff probably, and good story. Um, so yeah, moving on. Next we have this is a uh, an anime. It's actually uh, the newest volume of Bleach, and that would be. Set 12. It has uh, Captain Amagai on there. <clears throat> this actually will, uh, it's episodes 180 to 193 on it. <clears throat> this will conclude the uh, Captain Amagai filler arc. And actually, they actually put, it's actually 14 episodes, which I haven't seen a, uh, a disc set of Bleach that had that many episodes in quite a while. Not since uh, the bounce stuff, so um, usually it's either 11 or 12 episodes. So to get 14, that's cool. Um, I guess <clears throat> with it having that the Captain Nama guy stuff ends at 189, I believe. So it actually goes all the way. Probably you'll see Nell and all that. So <clears throat> that's awesome. Um, I know some people skip out on getting the filler volumes, so the people that do that aren't gonna like that. They're gonna have to buy this one. <laughs> but uh, I get them all because I like to have the full set so it really doesn't bother me 
it just means more episodes on this, so that's cool to me. <clears throat> so, pretty awesome. Um, here's what the discs look like, in case you're wondering. Same design as the previous volume, as 11. Um, currently, well, yeah, I'm currently watching the second disc, so I don't have it in there, but third disc, they all look the same, so really, you see one, you see them all. Um, one thing I'm going to point out, though, is that uh, for some reason, on the, it's not a huge deal, but the on the disc menu, it no longer has mu like music playing. Like, you know, usually you pop the disc in, and when it has the options play and episodes and scenes and all that fun stuff set up, uh, <clears throat> usually it has like a, some kind of music going, but it has, it's dead silent. And I think uh, they started doing that like on the Bleach movie, the third movie, the Fade to Black movie. And then obviously set 11 and set 12, they don't have menu music on there anymore. Don't know why, not sure. Um, I mean, like I said, it's not a huge deal. It's just something something that just kind of is glaring because like you have the scenes playing and then there's no music, so it's kind of weird. But anyway, it doesn't change the fact that Bleach is awesome and I'm continuing to collect the discs as they come out. Um, also, for those that are curious, uh, not curious, but uh, for those of you that watch the dub on Adult Swim on Saturdays at midnight, um, they're currently in the, uh, what is it, the Zompok Toe filler arc. Um, but anyway, I mean, I, I like it. It's pretty good. Um, but they're on episode, like, 247, I think, is, will be this Saturday. But uh, I noticed that some voices have been changing recently. I don't know why or whatnot, whether, you know, who knows why. But uh, <clears throat> it just... The one that is bothering me is the that Kimpachi Rocky's voice changed, which I mean it changed at two on 2:45 or maybe even 2:44 or something when he was in the preview talking, but it is vastly different from the original voice that was doing that, which I think was David Lodge, I believe. But uh, you know, it's just a glaring thing to me because he's one of my favorite. He is my favorite captain probably, and have his voice change kind of changes up his personality the feel of his character a little bit so but I mean hey I guess not you know stuff happens can't really change it but uh, uh he's gotten better as the episode has gone like <clears throat> the first episode was really it seemed weird because he was saying weird lines and stuff that seemed seemed out of character but uh the next episode he sounded a little better so maybe the new voice uh will get better at it but, uh, which actually I think the one doing it now is uh, same voice as Ichigo's dad, uh, Ishin. Um, but you know, <clears throat> oh well, I guess. But uh, I've been I like the dub, so I continue to watch it. I'm also watching the sub too. I'm caught up almost on the sub. I got like 30 episodes to go to catch up on the sub. But uh, I still like watching the dub whenever it comes on, so, but anyway, you know, enough about Bleach, let's see here, that's pretty much all my current and recent pickups and all that, so next we'll go the current, current reading, current, uh, playing, and fun stuff like that, uh, <clears throat> so currently reading is Berserk Volume 27, I actually have 28 on the way, but, I'm uh, a little over halfway done with this, um, but it's really, I mean, it's Berserk, uh, and you know I like Berserk, so, uh, but this is really, really uh, awesome. Uh, finished up the Berserker armor stuff and uh, went into uh, basically the, what the Kushan army is doing in Midland and all that, <clears throat> so it's pretty, pretty awesome, like always, I mean. I don't think I've ever been like, oh, I hate this one. This one's not good. Doesn't really happen. Uh, <clears throat> next, what I'm currently playing. I'm actually still currently playing Super Paper Mario, but all I have left in it is to level up. And it's just, it's monotonous. And I can only do so much in a, like, so much. So, taking a small little step back from that. <clears throat> I'm currently, like, level 60, but I have to get up to, like, level 99. And I've been done with like everything in the game and I was only like level 30. So I've just been leveling up for like 30 levels straight. And 
I don't know. I have to take. I had to take a little break from it. So I figured, you know, why not do a game that's, you know, not too long, but gonna be fun. And so I decided to play Lara Croft Tomb Raider Legend. And I gotta say, I like it a lot. Um, it is very much like uh, the Prince of Persia games, um, quite a bit actually, because you have like the the acrobatic se sections, and then you have the combat. The only difference is that instead of the combat being with swords and stuff, you use guns. So you just shoot people and, and whatnot. So, <clears throat> but the puzzles in it are fun. Uh, some of the uh, having to get each of the levels, you have to get uh, rewards or little. Uh, they're like little tokens, like gold, silver, and bronze. <clears throat> and obviously, the gold ones are the hardest to find. There's one gold in that each level. That's the hardest ones to get. Um, and then silver ones are usually just off the off the path path a little bit, and then the bronze ones are usually like right in the path. So usually you get all those on this on the first try. Um, but anyway, I've been playing this quite a bit. It's not that terribly long of a game, but uh, so I've already beaten it. I'm I'm actually going back through and getting all the rewards. You also have to go back through each level and complete a time trial, which is just to beat a certain time limit uh, on the level. And basically you're just speed running the whole way, trying to go quickly, which is, it's a lot of fun. Um, uh, but, uh, yeah, uh, like I said, I'd never played a little, uh, Tomb Raider game before, but, um, if any of the other ones are like this, uh, I'm sure I'll like them all. Um, but, yeah, I'm 99% currently in it, and, uh, just gotta get, uh, the rest of the rewards and finish off a few, uh, time trials, which I think I only have, like, two or three levels left, I believe. And I'll be done with it, and then I'll probably I'll probably just straight move on to the next one, which I think is uh, what is it? Uh, I think it's uh, the uh, anniversary. So and that that one's on the Wii. <clears throat> so hopefully it's similar to this because this is a lot of fun, and it definitely leaves off on a cliffhanger story-wise. So I'm kind of interested to find out what's going to happen. So that's pretty much all that's been going on. Um, what I'm currently doing and stuff. Uh, what else? What else? Um, the reason I haven't had as much time to do videos lately <clears throat> is just mostly haven't really felt like it somewhat. And uh, the other thing is I've been doing uh, Insanity, the workout program. Uh, for those of you that know what it is, um, it's pretty intense. Um, but I'm uh, currently like halfway through. I'm in the recovery week right now. So... Uh, <clears throat> you know, it's a little less intense on the recovery week because it's mostly just, you know, taking it a little, little bit easier. But uh, that means that coming up next week, I'll be having uh, <clears throat> starting Monday basically. Uh, I'll be starting on the second month, and that month is crazy. So if I don't get a whole lot of videos out in uh, very quickly, <laughs> you, it's because I'm just tired. But uh, <clears throat> but you know, I'll try to get some more videos out as best I can. So, other than that, I will talk to everybody later, and I will see you in the next video. Peace! Bye-bye!